Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome. Thank you for coming out for our historic event here today. I'm Sean Kruger, Superintendent of West Liberty Foods. Uh, before I begin, I just want to give a huge thank you to Lisa Wurzbarger for setting this event up and preparing uh, for this day. If you haven't worked with Lisa before, she's a take charge person. She gets after it. Um, she she uh, has a beautiful day here for us, a slight breeze. Um, she even got the uh, construction workers to stay on the south end of the uh, site here for us. So great job, Lisa, and thank you for that. Appreciate it. Saying thank you doesn't begin to go far enough for the financial aid and community support that we have received for this project. Kicking off a project this size, this size in my first year as superintendent was ambitious uh, to say the least and I never could have expected the community to step up this way in the way that you have. And I'm extremely grateful and proud of the West Liberty community. Fundraising has gone extremely well. We've had gifts from corporations, nonprofits, foundations, and families. To date, we've received 36 gifts, and 65% of those have come from families. That is tremendous and speaks to the commitment of this community and that they have to our youth. The total dollars raised is at $1.5 million. And we have raised, yeah, outstanding. And we have raised over 355 million of, or excuse me, 355,000 of the match towards the West Liberty Foods gift. Also today, we have three special announcements. A $25,000 donation from the Adam and Tammy Feldman family. A $100,000. A $100,000 donation from Deepak Geary and his wife. Just fresh from this afternoon, a, a $150,000 donation from the Melick Foundation. And we'll talk a little bit about those uh, more here uh, later in the program. At this time, we would like to invite donors uh, by group up to take a groundbreaking photo. We'll start with our keynote sponsor, West Liberty Foods. West Liberty Foods, would you come up here uh, by Lisa? Iowa City Tire, Liquid Grow, 
the Bicey family. Midwest One Bank. West Liberty Youth Sports. Gary Dolfo. Mike and Sue Dare. Ryan and Tana Dare. Jared and Samira Dare. Dusty and Stacy Feldman. JJ and Kelsey Garcia. Mason and Emily Garcia. Wayne and Susan Johnson. Jeff and Shonda Laughlin. Dennis and Linda Riley. Jason and Lisa Wurzbacher. Donovan and Sarah Yoder. And Dave and Jean Reynolds.
let's not just support them financially, but let's turn out to their events and let's nourish them. And together we'll go forward. Today is a new day for the community of West Liberty. Thank you. I'd also like to invite Bob Klein from the Ryan Trust up to say a few words.
Now I'd like to have our activities director, Mr. Adam Maria, share some updates on our project. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming. Today is a great day. Uh, one that many of you have been obviously waiting for for a long time. Seeing all this work behind us get started is, is obviously very, very exciting. Uh, I too, I know Sean did this earlier, I too want to thank Lisa. She may have skipped out, but if there's ever any doubt, like, who's actually in charge of this project, <laughs> Jeremiah Smith and I were out here, and we were thinking, well, this is going to be a lot of noise. Neither one of us had the courage to go ask them to move. She walked. She just walked out there. They got off their equipment. She asked them to move, and they did. So, appreciate that. Uh, so, we're here today to thank the donors and the community for all you've done for our school district. We also want to thank several volunteers helping us with this project, uh, especially our construction group. If any of you are here, uh, I'll just read their names real quick. You can just give us a wave. Tim Nichols, Bill Simon, Ken Morrison, Todd Morrison, Matt Dawfeld, and Adam Feldman. Having a group of experienced local contract or construction professionals to consult with has been huge for us. Uh, this group's already saved the district time and money. They're willing to meet with us when we have questions or concerns, uh, and it's just been fantastic. So I'd like to give a nice round of applause for them. I'd also like to give a huge thank you to our maintenance director, Jeremiah Smith, who's up there at the top of the hill. Uh, Jeremiah has been instrumental in helping us uh, throughout this project and then obviously setting things up today. So thank you to Jeremiah. And one last thank you to Brian Rance, who's standing over here uh, in our IT department. Brian's been uh, fantastic with helping us keep our website updated uh, throughout this project and then uh, helping us get this set up today. So thank you to Brian. Clearly, as you can see behind me, the groundwork has started. Uh, the bids for this project came in on target, and we are on schedule. We're still finalizing some of the very small details for the above ground work with the fields and the facilities, and plan to release that for bid at the end of this month. Uh, we should have a firm selected then, or our hope is to have a firm selected by the end of November, and they will begin work on the fields and facilities early next spring. Pending weather, material, and labor, three things that we don't have control over, uh, we're planning to host events here in this new complex next fall. We've also started having discussions or more discussions on the indoor facility, which when built will sit right behind where, I'm at, where I am right now. Uh, this facility is a must for us to remain competitive. We've maxed out our gym space. Uh, the example I give to people is when, when spring rolls around and we have to move all of our outdoor sports inside, we just we don't have the space. So we're canceling practices and, and shortening things and it's just not a good situation. Uh, we're over capacity, which is a good problem to have, but it's a problem. We're over capacity in our current weight room. I don't want to interrupt their work, sorry. Uh, when we build this facility, this will give us a competitive edge. It's something that all students can take advantage of. Uh, we're still short of our fundraising goal. However, we're starting the planning of the indoor facility so we can be ready when the funds do become available. So once again, We'd like to thank everybody for coming out to this special and exciting day. Uh, now that the project is officially started, we will uh, keep the community updated via posts on our social media pages uh, and on the school website. So at this time, I'll turn it back over to Superintendent Kruger for some final words. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Maria. I was going to say sorry about all the noise behind us here, but just how cool is that uh, to have all this construction, the work actually being done right here behind us on on the day that we're doing our groundbreaking. Uh, just great timing and so um, just exciting to see. Just really puts things, makes it more real for us all, I believe. Now I want to publicly thank all of our donors and also take a few minutes to recognize the three gifts uh, that we recently received. First, I'd like to thank the Adam and Tammy, Tammy Feldman family for their generous gift of $25,000. West Liberty Community School District, and we graciously want to thank them for this donation. Next, I'd like to 
recognize Deepak Geary and his wife as they are donating $100,000 to this project. On behalf of the West Liberty School District, a big thank you. This is an outstanding gift from a member of the community that gives to many organizations. The Garys have helped the school district in several ways over the last several years. In addition, this afternoon, our school district was approached by the Mellick family. I'd like to recognize the Mellick Foundation in accordance with H. Fillmore Mellick's wishes in his will to donate $150,000 toward our new facilities. H. Fillmore Mellick was on the track team. He had a short career on the football team and graduated from West Liberty High School in the class of 1939. He'd be very proud of the new athletic complex and all of its benefits to our community. Thank you very much to the Mellick family on behalf of the school district for your gracious donation. Combined, these three donations put us less than $500,000 away from our original goal. Thank you for all the generous gifts and for giving us an opportunity to wrap up this groundbreaking celebration uh, today. We would not be here today without our donor support. It's a fant it is fant fantastic to have the largest employer in the community, the West Liberty Foods, as our keynote. We received $250,000 from the Joe Ryan Trust, as Joe is a former West Liberty High School valedictorian, not just mentioned by Mr. Klein, uh, and our own athletic boosters who gave us $100,000, and they already do a ton of things for our school district. I also want to just say a huge thank you to everyone else who has contributed even one dollar to this campaign. This is a new day for West Liberty. Thank you for making this happen. Thank you for being here today, and go Commons.